using the squeegee it's important to have the right angle. If I have my squeegee upright too much I'll starve the cloth and if I have it too low I'll leave too much epoxy in. So try to have your squeegee at about a 45 degree angle from the cloth and then just drag the epoxy out and let it fill the weave. You know you've got enough epoxy in the fabric when the white of the fabric can no longer be seen. Now we're going to lay up the full length and full width fiberglass cloth. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm using 60 inch wide cloth and I need 40, 42 or 43 inch uh, width to cover uh, this Rob Roy canoe from uh, from gunnel to gunnel or shear line to shear line. And uh, all I'm doing is allowing about an inch overhang on each end. So before we begin, I'll just explain what we do at the ends a little. So of course the stems have a curve to them and the cloth doesn't. So all we're going to do is leave this cloth for now and as we apply our epoxy we'll just lift it up just like I am and we'll fill the weave with epoxy uh, just like this on both sides and then we'll trim it and we'll follow the the curve of the, the stem 
and we'll just trim it away. Okay, so you can see what it, the shape of it. So I would just, uh, with some scissors, trim up.
right here, that's the most uh, contact that you'll make uh, as you come to shore. Your canoe is going to slide up onto shore so it'll get the most wear right here. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that it's extra strong. Again, one layer of fiberglass is probably enough. You know, I'm sure that uh, it's probably pretty standard to have just a single layer of fiberglass. Uh, but this extra four inches, you know, or even if I was to go a foot further, uh, you know, it's going to add like next to no weight and it's going to make the canoe stronger and last longer. Applying the bias cut cloth is very simple. Instead of laying the cloth in place and then dampening it out uh, with a, a brush, what I do is I mix up my epoxy and then I actually put the cloth into the mixing dish. All right, and I saturate it in there, then I pull it out and strain it. I lay it in place and then fold it into shape. Now we're ready to do our filler coat. And I should just mention before we do that that I've taken 80 grit sandpaper and gone over the stem fiberglass where there's been any uh, high spots from uh, loose threads or runs in the epoxy. Uh, when you do that, just be careful that you don't sand into the, the actual cloth of uh, the fiberglass on the hull and just reduce the amount of uh, high spots that we're not going to want when we do our filler coat. So as we've done before, just mix up a batch of epoxy and I simply pour the epoxy out onto the top of the hull and then using the roller, I roll it out so that it's uniform thickness all over. All we want to do is fill the low spots in the weave of the fiberglass. Once you're finished, come back every hour or two and just check on it. What you're looking for is any runs or imperfections and just take your roller or another paintbrush and just lower them down, roll it over again or, you know, or brush it so that it's a little bit smoother. This is going to save you time when you go and do your final sanding. 